Oh, boys and girls, we are back here at the Sky Lounge here to review some Arsenal action as we win 1-0 against Napoli in the quarterfinal second leg. 3-0 aggregate. Ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal is going to the Europa League semifinals against either Valencia or, or, or uh, Villarreal. I have to check the score on that real quick. But what a match from Arsenal. And just to confirm, it is going to be Valencia that Arsenal is going to be facing in the semifinals. Two legs. Chelsea will be facing Eintracht Frankfurt uh, in the other bracket of the semifinals. So Arsenal this match. You know, the usual suspects started, but this is the unfortunate part. You didn't start Ozil in there. You had Ramsey as the attacking midfielder. And to his credit, Aaron Ramsey, the first few minutes of that half was absolutely brilliant. He was he was really the fulcrum in which the offense flowed through. Um and everything really kind of fell through him. And there was a lot of chances created uh, from Aaron Ramsey there. And eventually, what, what, kind of, what kind of ended up happening was Aaron Ramsey <sighs> ran in a weird angle. This is what I saw. He ran in a very odd angle, landed on his leg strangely, and it was his hamstrings. As soon as I saw him grab at his hamstrings, I knew this he was he was done. He was done for the day. And so Mikatarian comes in for Ramsey and it was confirmed that Aaron Ramsey his his season with Arsenal is done uh, with this hamstring injury. He he's out. And it's unfortunate because obviously we know about Aaron Ramsey heading to uh, Juventus at the end of his contract with Arsenal this year, which happens to be at the end of the summer. And it, it's it's bittersweet because we love Aaron Ramsey. As an Arsenal fan, I love Aaron Ramsey. I, I love the fact that he's been with our club for so long since he was a kid, um, since he came from Cardiff City. And <clears throat> it's it really is unfortunate to see him uh, go out like this. And for Arsenal... Still tied nil nil. You still had the advantage of two nil. You know, winning two nil at home. You know, in the first leg coming into that. So having that aggregate advantage, you you look. You'd have to look at this kind of situation and think this is an obstacle. This is a challenge. But this Arsenal squad, to their credit, to their credit, this Arsenal squad has proved to me and a lot of us, us naysayers that. They can get the job done. Aaron Ramsey being subbed out in the 34th minute. We get a chance right in front of Napoli's you know, goal, goalkeeping area right there. Right inside the box. <clears throat> There's a chance at a set piece. Free kick attempt. And we've seen this from Alexander Lacazette one other time in the in this season. Where he lines up for a free kick and he nets it in. Top bins. What a gorgeous finish from Alexander Lacazette. And that would actually be the only goal for the remainder of this match. And this, this was absolutely incredible from Arsenal. To see, to see them pull out a result after having Aaron Ramsey not, you know, finishing the season off healthy, you know. Sorry to say, but I mean that that is the truth. And and to have I love Mikatarian, but you don't put your best player in Mesut Ozil in the lineup. It's it's questionable for me. But they pulled it off. Arsenal played fantastic today. And there's a lot of credit to Petr Cech. There has to be a lot of credit that goes out to Petr Cech because that man made some incredible saves all throughout this match. There were Three shots against them that were on target, and he saved all three of them uh, compared to the other goalkeeper for Napoli. Four shots against him, obviously. Three uh, because he allowed the one. And really, Aaron Ramsey, his injury aside, 
Alexander, Alexander Lacazette's one goal aside, Arsenal had a pretty mundane offensive performance. Otherwise, the, the credit here goes to defense and goalkeeping because I'll tell you what, Maitland Niles has really picked himself up. He has really, over these last few months, has really become his own as a right back since Hector Bellerin's injury was going to be long term. And really, him him and Sayed Kalasnach and those wing back roles has opened up the floor and space right for those fast paced offensive strikers that we got in Abomeing and Lacazette. So it gives us a lot of opportunities to just attack the box and attack defense. And you know what? It's safe to say that back three of Socrates, uh, Koscielny, and Monreal, not bad. Not bad at all. And obviously, you know what I think about, you know, Rob Holden, boys and girls. I love that kid. Once he comes back into the lineup, I can't wait. I really would like to see Callum Chambers, you know, after he's off loan of, um, I want to say he's in Fulham right now. After he's off loan, I'd love to see him get a couple more minutes. And uh, obviously, if we see the Greek, uh, you know, Mavrapanos, you know, grow up and be become one of his own, you know, that'd be great to see that too. But this defense right now is working. And Arsenal, able to frustrate Napoli, you know, enough to get the job done. What was, was enough for a 1-0 win. And it's crazy because these last few matches, Arsenal has been winning by 1-0 and they, they lost 1-0, yes. But the boring, boring Arsenal thing is back. And in, in the best way possible because, honestly, it, it's, it's great to win. It's great to win. And winning in a quarterfinal where this year, I seriously said my expectation this year is for Arsenal uh, if you rewind the tape, it's all there in this playlist for Arsenal, I'm telling you. I said if we get to a quarterfinal, we are lucky. I said we're going to get knocked out of the quarterfinals for every cup fixtures. Most of those, I was right, the FA Cup, the, the League Cup. But the Europa League, for whatever reason, Unai Emery is a magician in the Europa League. And I don't want to jinx myself yet, but yeah, against... Valencia, that is going to be a huge challenge because I always said this. The Spanish League, in in the top five, really top five, top four, those teams are pretty damn solid. You, you can't really escape that. Um, obviously, the big contenders, uh, Atletico Madrid every year, Barcelona every year, Real Madrid almost every year. But it always rotates, right? Valencia, Villarreal, sometimes Sevilla is in there. But... Never take Spanish teams in deep knockout stages lightly. And you had Villarreal and Valencia fight it out. And Valencia coming out the winner. And I'm afraid if Arsenal takes these fixtures lightly, we are, we're not going to have a good time. We have to make sure we come out guns a-blazing. Um, have to unleash the best of the best. Obviously, we don't have Aaron Ramsey moving forward now we have to unleash Ozil we have to make sure Ozil gets those minutes we have to make sure Ozil can link up with Lacazette and Aubameyang and get support from you know Torreira and Xhaka and credit to Xhaka I thought he was gonna go out with an injury today too but he seemed all right at the end uh, he, despite the fact that he was subbed out yes but I'd love to see this team get to the final and lift the lift the trophy. I I love to see this because Arsenal has our the, the fans have waited for a long time. Especially any kind of European success, European nights. I mean, come on, man. I know the Champions League is the better cup. I understand that. And I I even say that. I always say who gives a fuck about the Europa League? I don't I don't de I don't deny that at all. But a cup is a cup is a cup. Right, unless it's a friendly cup, which means nothing. But cups like these that take all season long, and and we've seen the toll it takes to players. We've seen the toll it takes to certain fixtures in, in you know domestic leagues. And I'd love to see this club win in the Europa League. I'd love to see them just beat whoever whoever comes out on the other side of the bracket, whether it be Chelsea. Whether it be Eintracht Frankfurt's, you know, to hell with them. You know, let, let's let's go at it. 
And oh boy, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. We're, we're, two, we're going to the semifinals. We're going to get shit ready. So boys and girls, follow me at the Sky Lounge and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Come on, you gunners. No, fuck off.